Welcome back, YouTube. It is episode 3 of my Let's Play Survival series. And in the last episode, in episode 2, we built up this wonderful lumberjack lumber mill area. And I love it. I've been using it oh so very much between episodes. But in this episode, oh in this episode we have something very special planned. Yes indeed, just look at those, I'm wearing shoes. I have boots! Yes! Thank you all for coming. I will see you all next time. Now, on an actual serious note. Yes, we built this in the last episode and it was wonderful. It was a very busy episode, it was a very productive episode. And it turns out this area is incredibly useful for me because I have been chopping down oh so many spruce trees because they deliver a lot of wood. And in my inventory right now, I have a bunch of chests, so many chests. And this isn't even all of it, nope. If we head back over this way, I will show you exactly what we're working on in today's episode. That, my friends, inside of our little starter house is the grand total of our storage. It actually isn't. I've been forced to make two more for sugarcane and bamboo and for seeds. Seeds, you're a problem. You're a very, very big problem. I have too much of you. You're disgusting. We throw you away. Gone. No more seeds. But seriously, I have too much seeds. A problem we will have to solve. We will kind of be solving it today. Not entirely, not really. The real solution will come when we do a farming area. Today though, we need to solve this, this chaos that I have here. Look at this, that's, that's disgusting. I hate that chest, it is horrible, it is the worst. That is what we are fixing today. Today, my friends, it is night time. Tonight, my friends, we're sleeping. And today, my friends, I have a very big job. It is probably not as expansive as the last episode's job, but I need a storage area. I need a designated storage facility, and this chest is not it. Nope, nope, this chest contains what I need for it. Most of it, at least. And there you can see there are two more stacks of chests. Yes, we have a ton of them. So many chests. And we're going to use all of them. This area over here on this little island. And if I go back and grab my map, I'm going to need to make a new map. Give me a minute. All right, all right, all right. We're on attempt number 73. Yes, yes, 73. We are going to put these two down here and then that map and the old map. This is what we did last episode. This is what we did in the first episode. And here, right here, where this marker is, over here, is what we are going to be doing in this episode. We are going to build a massive storage facility. One that will last me for the better part of this game for the foreseeable future at the very least. And because we are building it so close to where I want to build my harbor, my docks, it is going to be in the form of a harbor warehouse. Yes, that makes sense. Harbor warehouse, you store things in it. Storage facility, you also store things in it. So, all of these trees behind me need to go. I got some work to do. All right, we've shaven this hill down quite nicely. It's nice and clean, neat, a blank canvas ready for us to work on. Let's update our map and see what we got. Rotate you back, there we go. Nice and blank, and I kind of like how this hill, how this island dips down here in the middle. And this center bit here is exactly where we're going to be building our storage facility. And I like that because I want it to be open on both ends so that one can just walk in from either 
direction. Really, really cool. So, what are we going to need for this? Let's craft up some spruce slabs and we'll start with those and we do a little bit of planning. Now, I like the idea of planning the layout of a storage facility before I build the exterior because you never really know how much space exactly you're gonna need and if you build just to build nice kind of like what we did with our starter house it gets very cramped like it did with our starter house so we're going to plan the interior a little bit first very roughly I think I want a center path that is going to be three wide. It's not going to dip down, it's going to come all the way through. I don't know exactly how long we're going to want it. On either side of that path, I'm thinking it's going to need to step up a little bit. And I like the idea of using... Ooh. And I like the idea of using stone brick stairs as that little step up on either side. So the center path is going to be a half slab down and will be spawn proof. On the other side, I'm thinking I want it to go up the remaining half slab. And here. I think two slab wide or two block width should be ample and then we can start with our chest ideas now because obviously this thing is going to go in both directions it is already starting to become quite wide that is a very large span that is a nine block span now realistically one wants support in some way, shape or form for this. So let's for now say that we have a column there. We're not going to put our chests in line with the columns because we want a little bit of depth. And then I think we go do we want to do five or do we want to do six? I think six. We'll do six and then the next post. And then we'll do six again and then another post. And then I think we'll do a third batch of six. And it is within, within between these posts that we will be placing our chests. So we will have six columns of double chests. Now I'm just wondering, do I want that to go up a block again to separate this from the walkway? We could do that. I'm not opposed to doing that. Why wouldn't I do that? I don't know. I think for now I'm just going to put the chests in like that. We already have some level differences here and I think that's quite nice. So, let me build this up. I am going to create six little alcoves like this and give them the full height of the chests in which they need to go along this length. Four and a half stacks of chests. 288 chests. 144 double chests. This is going to be an absolutely massive storage facility and I'm very excited. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill this thing anytime soon. I know there are more materials in Minecraft than I have chests here but I'm very excited. Now we get to start playing around with the design of this structure. We need to make it interesting because well this is interesting but it is not pretty. So let's have a look at what we have and what we need. I very, very much want to make use of stripped 
spruce. So, if we put stripped spruce along this line right here, like so, right? And that is going to be a main exterior wall color. Then, well, that leaves us with a gap right here, which is not a bad thing. Because coming in here, you know, you can see through these gaps and you can see through those gaps. And one needs to think what color you want to see. Right now we see a lot of spruce and a very little bit of gray. But what if we saw more gray? Oh, yes. So in that gap, in between my chests and this exterior wall that we will be creating, I think I'm going to build it up with stone. So this creates for a very fat wall. Yes, all of our walls will be two blocks wide, but that is okay. Standing on the outside you won't notice that because these will be hidden by our spruce walls. And standing on the inside I don't think you'll notice it, you'll just see steps in and then chests and these chests are basically going to be a wall. So that I think will work very nicely. As for our entrance though, I think I'm going to build it up and we might have to just rip that fellow out as well and then that will be our entrance. That is going to be a very chunky column coming up but that is okay. I decided on spruce. The observant ones among you might have noticed that these were actually dark oak that I was using in the previous clip but I switched it out to spruce because if you take regular dark oak, that matches spruce perfectly. And I think that will help us create all kinds of curves and arches in this thing. All of which I think will work very nicely. So we're going to have a large curved entrance, an arch over this entrance. Which, you know, arches are great. Arches are very great. So these will be stripped, our walls. Our columns will not be stripped. And we will have more columns on the corners. And I think because this is such a massive building, so that one will also be stripped and that is a wall. Because this is such a massive building, I think we need to fatten our corner columns. And actually thinking about this, if we want this, to also be a wall of spruce on the exterior. We need to move our column out one. And then we throw a torch in there because we will never see either of those two spaces to prevent spawns. So that is going to be a very fat and chunky building, but it is a warehouse. So I don't think this is going to be bad. I hope. I'm going to build out a rough ground floor structure of this and I, I'm not going to do this in a time lapse which means this episode will probably have quite a lot of cuts of me building step by step by step. But that's the way I feel like building today. So let me build. And that is the last exterior column for now. I don't yet exactly know what I want to do here, so I need to figure that out. But this is what I've done. I have placed stone all around and stone slabs up above, because with stone slabs, and if we jump down, I can still open the top chests. But it looks like regular stone, flat all the way around, and I like that. I like that color contrast very much on the inside. It makes the chests themselves pop a little bit more as well. Here you can also see that I've used the dark oak stairs and they blend perfectly into that as a bit of a beam across. If we jump back up, I just want to continue showing you here. I left all of these gaps empty, no stripped logs, no stone, and there at the bottom as well, where you can't see it and where you never will be able to see it. 
I left empty. I've been spawn proofing as I go because this little section here we probably won't ever be able to get to there won't be access to it we won't be able to see it at all so i'm spawn proofing as i go which means i don't have to worry about spawn proofing at a later stage so yes this is what we have and so far for an interior i quite like it though i do think that i want a level above and how I think I'm going to accomplish that is this is going to be another entrance similar to that one. So here I'm thinking stairs up away and then they'll turn in. And here will also be stairs up away that turn in and then both of them will join in the middle and come up the rest of the way to have walkways along this space above my head, I think. As an interior. This is really starting to come together. I like that you get to walk underneath these pathways and I've decided I'm, I'm gonna put these columns in in the middle along this um, the center walkway, that's the word. And I really, really like that. It makes the space seem a lot more occupied and filled. I like it. I have the arch for the main entrance in as well. I don't yet know whether or not I'm going to try and fashion a door for it. Or if I'm just going to leave it big and open. Might just do that. But now we're ready for the next stage. This is what I did in the back. So I have these stairs and they're on both sides. They wrap up to the center and it's underneath them that the rear entrance is situated. And this is what it looks like so far. If we go up those stairs though, you'll see they wrap around. I'm going to have a big window here that looks out over what will eventually be a lovely little village. For now, it just looks out over our starter house. Which, you know, it's not a terrible view. Coming up all the way though, these are the walkways that I put in up here. Though, obviously you can't just have this open. So what I was thinking is along this dark oak line here we build up another wall that goes up so everything to the right of this is done that just needs to get a roof over and then here we build a wall and this goes up another story and then it gets its roof near the end the decision I need to make and ultimately that happens on the other side as well but a decision that I do need to make now is what do we build this next story out of? Because an option that I have and an idea that I do like is using birch. I don't know if I have enough birch for the job, but I do have some birch. So we're going to strip that. That is hideous. This is one of my favorite blocks in the game. Stripped birch is absolutely glorious. It is beautiful ever since they changed it the color in I think it was 1.13 and it wasn't quite so yellow anymore the wood itself you know stripped wood didn't exist back then yet but the planks were very very yellow and it's like sickly yellow and couldn't really be used oh I made it to the bed yeah I don't hate that I think that looks pretty good let's hop on a boat uh, I had a boat. I did have a boat. It's okay. Let's make a dark oak boat. And let's go out this way to have a look at it from a bit of a distance. There's no land for us to go and stand on, but we can take a boat. Yeah, I, I think that'll work. I think that'll work very, very nicely. So here you can see, to the right there's going to be a little pitched roof. And to the left there's going to be a pitched roof. And then this is going to go up another portion and then it's going to have a double pitched roof and that I think is going to be our general warehouse shape. It's big, it's chunky, but it is a warehouse. So that is the next step. I need to get this next levels walls built up all the way 
and I think I've decided that I like the idea of birch. So that's going to run all along this dark oak line. And then here, something else is going to have to happen. I think this back section will still be spruce. And at this column, there will be a change. Yeah, or maybe at this column, no, because then you'll see it on the interior. It'll have to be at this column where the change happens. This is probably one of my favorite views, looking through this thing all the way through. I really like how the arch and the arch complement one another. And honestly, I kind of like the birch and the spruce. Where's my boat? Let's grab my boat and let's go for a ride and I can show you what it looks like from a distance. From the front, I like it. It's a little too woody. It's better on this side due to the birch, but it is very woody. I do have some solutions for that problem though, that we will get to in a second. I don't think I have an axe. Oh, my axe broke. I'll have to make a new one. From the side, I really like the look from the side. The windows on the top really work for me. Still very woody, but on this, just on the sides, I think it's a fairly simple solution, particularly since there will be other buildings on either side of this thing somewhere down the line. This side from the back, I'm not a fan. It's big, it's intimidating, which is all very good, but it is very, very monotonous in color. On this side I definitely have to make some changes. Those changes that I have to make are fairly simple if I can move through the water. I, I really need Death Strider. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some stone because in the interior we have the stone highlights and that works very well with the spruce. So I was thinking we try that on the exterior as well and we just go a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how tall we need to take this. Probably at least this far up. No, we'll have to go up one more. Oh yeah, that works much better. I really like the stone. It's a nice bright pop of color against this massive wall of spruce. Definitely a winner. And it's a sturdy foundation. It cements the building in place. Pardon the pun. If you want to consider it one. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and implement the stone foundation all over, all around. And then we can carry on and do something else to make it look more complete. Okay, I think there's now only one more primary exterior modification that I would like to make. This is a favorite of mine. These just add a ton of little detail to a building because you still get oak specifically you still get the pop of the color from behind them but they are a different color i love using these trapdoors i think i'll do this on both sides and implement them a bit on the back and the front of the building as well that looks miles better from this side the stone, the trap doors, plenty to add a bit of detail. Adding in that window though will add a bunch too, because that's going to be a bit more oak. Now I see there are some llamas up here. What happened to your trader? Hey, hey? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I had leather and lead on me since the beginning. Yep, definitely did. Mhm. Mm All right. So. Let's continue with this, shall we? Let's put in this here window of ours. 
just like that. It's a nice big window. Yes, it's barred in, but that's all right. Then we do need to come in and add in our railings for this area. So I've got some chests, some barrels, and some lanterns. Ooh, and chains. Chains, definitely gonna be handy. One, two. So, before I go and hang those lanterns, up here I'm thinking this is a storage area. So we're just gonna come in and stack a whole bunch of storage things. These two types of blocks in particular. So this is, according to lore, a space where excess products would be stored. Though, actually, I'm just decorating a little bit because I don't know what else to do up here. I've now built it and it looks great from downstairs. But aside from that, it's kind of wasted space. So we're just going to make it look nice. Yep. And by putting in the lanterns every now and then, I get to get rid of these hideous torches and hopefully still have things be spawn proof up here. Because they weren't. Definitely weren't. All right, now we need to come and light things up downstairs and get rid of these excess torches that are standing all over the place. I'm thinking we keep it fairly simple while working in this side of the area and we place a lantern more or less there. I can walk underneath that so I'll never hit my head. Yeah, that looks good. And we can vary the heights of these guys. Same thing on this side, we can put a shelf over there. And then, if we come here to the center, of course I can't do that. Temporarily, we're going to break this block out. Scaffolding. We need to get up here a little bit so we can drop these chains. This one I'm going to bring down three. And then we're going to put a lantern on it. Same story on this side. Same amount of difficulty. Oop. Let's go two. Now these two lanterns are not hanging on the same height and I love that. I love that very much. Our last lantern we put there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Fill in these holes. They were never there. Nope. Never happened. And that my friends is one completed harbor warehouse slash our Minecraft storage facility. I love it. I still need to come and add in all of the workbenches into these slots. I think I'll put crafting benches here in the floor. And obviously picture frames and item allocation and all those wonderful things. I do have doors. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Definitely doors. Both sides. Oh yeah. I love it. I think it came out wonderfully. And... I really enjoyed building it. It might actually be one of my favorite independent freestanding storage buildings. Yeah, just look at how much of a difference that pop of contrasting color makes to the exterior of this building. Yep, I love it. It's grand, it's fantastic, it's spectacular, it's massive. My friends, it's big. It really is big. Just look at that thing. But it's good. It's complete. If you've enjoyed me building this storage facility, as you have more leads, oh, as you have the rest of this series, you know what to do. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you thought, and Please subscribe. Until next time, everyone have a wonderful time.